Hi everyone. How to set up and use a kiosk on Windows 11? Kiosk mode is a built-in feature of Windows 11 and Windows 10 that you can use to run a single UWP app, in full screen mode only, for a particular local user account. Once the kiosk mode is set up, only the selected app, like Microsoft Edge, Calculator, Mail, Maps, etc. You can use the kiosk feature to use your device as an interactive display, digital sign, etc. Before set up kiosk mode, remember some things. Only a local account is supported. You cannot set up kiosk mode for a Microsoft or administrator account. When you set up kiosk mode in the user account, there will be no start menu, taskbar, file explorer, desktop, etc. You won't use hotkeys to open the settings app, file explorer, etc. To exit from kiosk mode, you need to use the Ctrl plus Alt plus Del hotkey. Open the settings app by pressing Windows plus I keys on the keyboard. Next, select the accounts category on the left side of the settings window. Next, click the family and other users tile on the right side pane. Then, scroll down to the Family and Other Users Settings page and click the Get Started button under the Set Up a Kiosk section. After that, the Create an Account box will open on the screen. In that box, type a name for the new local user account. Windows 11 will automatically create an account for the kiosk mode. If you already have some local account for which you want to set up kiosk mode, Select the Choose an Existing Account link and choose your local account. When the above steps are complete, click the Next button. After that, Windows will suggest a list of apps you can use in kiosk mode. Select a kiosk app of your choice and click the Next button. If you select Microsoft Edge, you see two options on how to use the app. As a digital sign or interactive display, browser will open on full screen. The browser will open with a limited set of features as a public browser. Select one of the options and click the Next button. In the following screen, type in the default home page that will open up automatically when the browser opens. Then, select Time in the drop-down menu. This option will restart the browser if someone has used it for the specified time. It helps keep data safe in a public browsing session. After that, click the Next button. Then, click the Close button. If you're new to this channel, then subscribe. If you like this video, then like, share, and comment. Keep watching, learning, and growing. See you in next video.